Three skaters aside. Five minutes sudden death overtime. Goaltenders have switched ends. Here we go. Puck possession for the Rangers. Potter to the bench. Replaced by Gensel. Here's Panarin. His shot blocked by Latang. Panarin to the puck. Back out to Fox. Tied at two in overtime, and now the Rangers reset. And Aaron, now Fox. Fox just inside the line. Hands off to Zibanejad. He will bring it back out. 40 seconds gone by in overtime. Rangers have had puck possession right from the faceoff. Zibanejad swings it across for Panarin. Malkin has come on. Leaning on Panarin. Malkin knocks Panarin to the ice. Gains control of the puck and is tripped up. Penguins will have a power play. Draw into the bench for the extra skater. Malkin right off the bench. Able to draw the penalty. So the Penguins will have a four on three power play. Here at overtime. I wonder if Mike Sullivan uses his time out here. 10 New York minor penalty tripping. Because Crosby was out there to start and maybe buy a little bit of time. And here's the penalty in the corner. Panarin with the trip. Malkin, the guy that came on the ice to replace Crosby as we get the timeout that you were looking for, Enzo. Panarin in the box. He scored a power play goal in overtime yesterday, and now he takes a penalty tripping Malkin. It's Todd Reardon, assistant coach, diagramming the play. For Malkin, Crosby, Latang, and Gensel. Well, really, there's a couple of different ways to play the four on three. You can start out in a, a box formation. So two up, two, uh, two back, two down, and then roll into a diamond. Or vice versa. And looking for somebody to be moving in and out and set up a one-timer on either side. Well, let's see the formation of the Penguins here and obviously huge draw to the right of Halak. Puck out of the zone, retrieved by Malkin. On the ice with Gensel, Crosby, and Latang. Here's Gensel for Malkin. Penguins on the power play. Four on three. Malkin across to Latang. Here's Crosby. Back across to Malkin. Latang fires. Scores! Well, they started with the box, and they did transition into the diamond. And it turns into the overtime winning goal by Chris Letang. Blast from the point, Gensel front providing the screen, and Letang's got the winning goal. You really can't draw it up any better. You see what's going on here, and then eventually, they do, Jonesy. They get into this formation, so you have a couple of different options. They're now all of a sudden, how are the Rangers killing it? Can't rotate quick enough. Two on one up top on Goudreau. And then Latang just absolutely lets go of a missile. One timing the puck. No chance for Halak. His ninth of the season, three have come in overtime. Malkin and Crosby, the assists, are the only shot during the extra period. The Penguins capitalize with Panarin in the penalty box and defeat the Rangers 3-2.